So you want to change your oil in your E46 and you don't know what type of oil to use. There is so much controversy over this topic all over the internet, all over forums, so many fights, people arguing left and right about this. This E46 happens to be a 2001 325XI and it's got the 2.5 liter engine. Now, if you have one of the older ones that is a 328 with a different engine, the oil might be different in those. It seems like all of the year ranges with the 2.5 liter use the same type of oil. You should double check your owner's manual just to make sure. First, let's talk about the weight of the oil, 5W30 or 0W30. If you're in colder climates, you probably wanna go with the 0W30. I'm personally gonna go with the 5W30. Now you definitely want to use a synthetic oil. Don't use a conventional oil. This isn't a Chevy Nova. Come on, there we go. So which one should you use? Mobile One, Castrol, Valvoline, Walmart brand, or even Royal Purple? If you're not racing your BMW, you probably don't need Royal Purple. It's a little expensive. It is great oil, but it's a little crazy. Some of these owners only bought their car for 500 bucks. Why are you gonna put an $80 worth of oil into a $500 car? You will be just fine with the Walmart synthetic oil. Nothing's gonna blow the engine. It's not gonna matter. It's not gonna ruin the engine. The fact that you're watching this video and trying to figure out what type of oil to use means you care about your car. You're gonna change your oil regularly. If you didn't change your oil regularly and let it go for 15,000 miles, 20,000 miles, yeah, the difference between Mobile One and Castrol might make a difference. Otherwise, it's not gonna matter. And then there's the Amsoil guys. <sighs> you guys are on another level. I'm sure it's great oil, but come on, oil is oil. See, right on the cap, BMW recommends Castrol. That doesn't mean you can't use Mobile One, can't use Walmart brand, whatever you wanna use. I'm gonna use the Castrol Edge Synthetic High Mileage. Now my car's got about 130K on it and it's got oil leaks. I don't think this is gonna fix my oil leaks by any means, but maybe it'll slow it down a little bit. And with the high mileage, it's not gonna mess anything up in the car. It's not gonna mess up the Vanos, the variable valve timing. Um, if the Vanos messes up after changing this, it's cause there's something wrong with the Vanos. It's not cause of the oil. Whatever type of oil you pick, it's probably going to be fine. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. Leave me a comment below, school me, tell me what I missed, what I'm doing wrong. If you made it this far, chances are you like my content. I do a lot of automotive and mechanical type stuff. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Check out some of those other videos. Thanks.